Hi, we're David and Marcy Lynn aboard the sailboat Nine of Cups. When we first bought Nine of Cups, she had teak decks, a feature we absolutely loved. Teak is certainly beautiful, but definitely has its shortcomings. The biggest problem is that the traditional method of attaching the teak to the deck can often lead to leaks and delamination. We spent years tracking down leaks and fixing deck problems, and in the end, we finally removed all the teak and set about making repairs. In this video, which is the first part of a series on repairing decks, David will show you how to identify the problem areas. Most fiberglass boats have a deck that's made up of a top and bottom layer of fiberglass with a wood core sandwiched in between. The wood adds stiffness and strength to the fiberglass without adding a lot of weight. The core on Nine of Cups consists of a 5 8 inch balsa bonded to both the top and bottom layers of the fiberglass. The traditional method of adding teak planking to the deck was to attach each teak plank to the deck using screws spaced every foot or two. The next plank would be butted against the previous plank and then also screwed down. When all the planks were in place, caulking was applied to the gaps between the planks and wooden plugs called bungs were glued into place to cover the screw holes. Over the course of 20 years or so, as the teak expanded and contracted and the deck flexed with the motion of the seas, water would start making its way under the teak, under the edges of the planks, along the bungs, and through the caulking as it aged. Eventually, the water would seep along the screws and down into the core. Since it had no exposure to the air and no way to get out, it would continue to accumulate. Sometimes it would find a hole underneath, a screw maybe, and begin dripping below. Sometimes it would cause the fiberglass to break its bond with the wood, or even cause the wood to rot. We never let it get this far in Nine of Cups, but we have walked on decks that were actually spongy. One sailboat had so much flex in its decks, I wondered whether I'd end up in the saloon table if I put my full weight in the deck. Not a vessel I'd want to sail further from land that I could swim. So let's talk about making repairs. The first step in repairing the decks is finding the problem areas. Assuming the decks aren't so far gone that they're spongy, the best method is to tap the deck with a small hammer or mallet. The sounds you hear will vary a great deal. A solid section of deck will have a solid thunk sound, while a delaminated section will have a hollow sound. The tools needed are very basic. I use a plastic mallet or a small ball peen hammer. I also use masking tape to mark the sections that need repair. There's nothing too difficult about the process. Just lightly tap the deck with a mallet. Be thorough. Tap the entire deck, moving the mallet an inch or two at a time. The sounds you hear will vary depending on the deck structure. It will sound different closer to the edges. It will also sound different if there is a bulkhead or other structure attached below the deck. A bad section will sound hollow. You can hear the difference here. When I find a bad section, I'll go over it several times to delineate the problem area. Then I mark the area with masking tape. On Nine of Cups, I found five small areas that will need repair. It probably took, oh, an hour or so to completely tap the decks of our 45-foot Liberty. In the next video, I'll show you how I remove the top layer of fiberglass and repair the core. Thanks for watching. To view more of our travel and how-to videos, visit our blog and website at www.justalittlefurther.com.